What's going on you guys? Keeping the Real Tarot here, coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you. Today's tarot reading is going to be, how did they feel about your last message? Take what apply, leave the rest. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. There are three pals here. This will be pal number one. Pal number two. Pal number three. If I didn't say it already, I think I said it. Yeah, I did say it. Time stamp is going to be in the description box and message box. And shout out to you guys, to my subscribers, new or old. And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. And I don't have any more to say, I don't believe. If I forgot it, I forgot it. But I see you in power one. Okay, power one. If you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. And when you see this reading, hold on for a second. Yeah, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys who's watching this power one. And hopefully this reading is useful to you and you're in good spirits when you see it. Today's title is How Do You Feel About Your Last Message? So take what apply and leave the rest. Um, yeah, hold on for a second one last time. Okay, Paul One, let's get right to it. So, how did they feel about your last message? This person, whoever this person is for you, wait. Before I do that, I'll pick your door. So, this is going to be your message. It says, trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe is at play. Have faith and breathe. So that's self-explanatory. You guys should understand that. You guys haven't been listening to your intuition. So the universe, your guides, God, whoever you believe in is now steering the will. You know that expression, God take the will? God has taken the will for some of you guys in your life because if it applies to you, you receive that message. So how did this person feel about your last message? This person felt like you was disgusted with them. You tired of like... Whatever you were saying to this person or whatever they're doing, you're tired of it. You're walking away from it. Some of you guys, um, people could be thinking about how you're walking away for something that is an ideal thing or something is like something that's a good thing for you. For some of you, this person, how could. For some of you guys, this person didn't really want to be with you. It's like you wanted to be with them more than they wanted to be with you. So you thought on this. You reviewed this. You reviewed this during a moon phase, that a waning moon phase in particular. And then you came to the realization that you no longer want to be involved with this situation. Some of you... Some of you guys like to walk um, in cemeteries. That's not going to be for a lot of you. Some of you like to go tap in and to cemetery, tap in and go to cemeteries and tap in. If you, if the message is for you, you know what I mean. But yeah, you walked away. This person feel like you walked away from them. You put your hands up. You disgusted with them. You tired of going through this, and this person have a problem with their options. They don't know how to stay faithful or they don't know how to stay focused they don't make the best choices some of these people let temptation come and bite them some of these people also let how can i say yeah they let their temptation get the better of them they if some of them don't have a lot of willpower they cannot uh they can't resist temptations and danger some of them, they get turned on when it comes to relationships that have this temptation and this element of danger to it. And with this person, they didn't listen to their intuition. If you see the card, they clearly didn't listen to their intuition because they was getting a heads up not to do this for some of you guys, whoever it resonates with. You have the Ace of Swords up. This person realized that you are not playing with them. You don't want to hear no bullshit from them. Some of them, you are open to hearing them come to you and speak to you. But some of you, you don't want to hear from them. You don't want to talk to them. You guard it. 
you blocked. Some of them, um, they didn't think you had the strength to stand in your power and do this. Some of you are very small, like very skinny, very small, very petite in, tax, in stature, potentially. If you are tall, you someone tall and very slim. Some of you could be Scorpios or have a Scorpio rising or a Taurus rising. But this person see that you're not playing with them. They see that you look at them like in a disgust now. It's like you're not even... The attraction you had for this person, you no longer have for this person. Some of them, this could be your baby father for some of you. If this is a family situation, they feel like you walked away because... They don't treat you right. They don't respect you. The choices that you they, the choices they decide to. How can I say this? The choices they decide to take with you. You are now having your guards up. You're blocking them. You don't want to be around them. You don't care to be nurturing and caring with them. You don't care to come around them for nothing. You. It's like even for holidays, you don't want to come around for holidays. If you have siblings that don't live in, a, in the area where you live, and if your family want to have family reunions, you're not coming around. Some of your parents, if this is a family situation, or this could be your brother, older sibling, it could also be a boss. But this person is a person that have people that come around them. They naturally could be a good leader, but some of them, they let their misguided judgment get the better of them. This person is a person that believes in what they say go. If it's your parent, even if it's a relationship, this person just have a mentality of what they say goes. Somebody could be a Leo. With this devil energy here, this devil energy and this nine of cups energy, when you walked away from this person, decided not to talk to this person, put your guards up, this person decided to uh, try to bring destruction to Whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're trying to bring to fruition, they're trying to bring devastation to your nine of cups, to your happiness. They're trying to bring a devastation to your wish fulfillments, basically. And they think this is funny. They think it's very, very, how can I say? Because this person is childish, so they think this is very funny that they are being conniving when it comes to you. Let's start clarifying it. Clarify this Eight of Cups. The Sun. Somebody could be a Leo. Somebody could be a twin here as well. But the, with the Sun, yeah, you revealed to them. You discussed it with them. You, you're tired of this. You, you no longer want to delve in a situation. You had the conviction to stand up to them. You had the strength and the conviction to stand up to them. You had the strength to walk away from this person. Clarify the sun and the eight of cups. How did they feel about power one's last message? Some of you, they tried to breadcrumb you and you was tired of that. You was tired of the being breadcrumbed. With the magician and this ten of, um, not the ten, with the magician and the sun, with the eight of cups some of you manifested this because you couldn't walk away from them you had a hard time walking away from them so you manifested this walking away from them a card fell something fell hold on yeah you manifested this you had the conviction to drop them to drop them where they at to stay where they at to just leave them to their destructive life their little deceptive life because they let their Vices get the better of them. They let their manipulative energy get the better of them to where they can't focus on doing the right thing or focus on just letting it go. It happened. You walked away. Just let it go. No, they can't do that. With the four pinnacles, this person is being is was held, holding back from you. This person is so caught up in their vices for some of them. They being drug to fucking drug to hell with this with this demonic entity they being drugged to hell and this person is money hungry as well they think their money is supposed to get them into doors where they don't belong in or they feel like their money supposed to get them into relationships that they don't belong into they don't belong getting into so it's like this person is holding on to their four pinnacles like they're gonna be able to bargain with somebody in the demonic world or in the afterlife but no 
it's not and to say that in reality of this realm they thinking that they being drug off to like to a karmic cycle like they could hold on to their money like they're gonna be able to manipulate people they're gonna be able these finances is not gonna have any any use for them wherever they being drugged to now because they have already sold their soul basically this person sold their soul this person feel burdened as well they feel burdened that you the high priestess you can see through them you use your intuition you all knowing and this person can't get around you you see right through them some of you you're not putting no effort into this person no action even if they try to come back you're not putting into you're not putting no effort into this person uh, where did that, oh, it's right here. Clarify the lovers, how did they feel about Pal? The Seven of Swords, they deceptive ways. Now they, they, sw they drowning on them. They swallowing their own words. They're, they don't have control of the situation. They feel like they lose in the situation. They feel like, this person think that, like, this was a competition for some of you guys. Or some of them, they, they was like bringing a silent war to you behind your back. Because with the devil over here in this position, they was bringing it to you silently. If this haven't happened for you yet, this is in the future, um, future rat race, rat race. Mm -mm. In this position that is in, this haven't happened for you yet. This is going to come up. But this person, they want vengeance. This person have, like, they have it out for you. Some of them are also stalking you and they spying on you. They trying to get information from you. Okay, let's clarify this devil. Clarify the devil. How did they feel about Power One's last message? And it's crossing the King of Wands. The Two of Cups. The same Two of Cups that I was talking about with this Eight of Cups. The same Two of Cups. The same two of cups. This person like to be in secret corners or in, 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 yeah, in secret corners or whatever with, with females trying to bring them love offers after they try to build something with you. It's like they always have a lover. They This devil always have a lover. Always have a lover lurking. And we'll clarify the lover's card because I clarified it already. We'll clarify this lover's card. With this lover card, somebody could be a Gemini. Here, somebody could be a Sagittarius as well. Somebody could be a Virgo. Somebody could be a Pisces as well. But what this love is called is attraction. So this person have attraction for everybody. Yeah, they have attraction for everybody. This person, because this attraction card came out in reverse, this person attracts comics. They they used to attract in comics. We'll clarify the Eight of Cups. Everything's starting to fall. This person's chaotic. They like to bring chaos. With, with Eight of Cups here, we'll clarify this Eight of Cups. Closure is here and falling past. So closure is not all connections are meant to be. Accept closure. Like I was saying, this person can't accept it and just walk on. I didn't even see these cards yet. It says love happens quickly, but don't lose yourself in the process. So you didn't lose yourself in the process. You have standards. You have morals that you stand on. And you didn't lose yourself in that process. You didn't lose your standards. You didn't lose your morals. This person is not happy with that. The same thing I said. I'm telling you, this person is like this. this wow, this energy is like. This person didn't believe you would have the conviction to stand up to them. They really didn't believe that you would stand up to them. They didn't think that you would walk away from them because they had other options. They thought that they could walk around and just have options and do whatever they wanted to do. But now they are, they're swallowing their words with this seven of swords. This person is very deceptive. This person is somebody that just says anything. They are a shapeshifter. They are a thief. They are a liar. But this is how they feel. They feel like you're disgusted behind them. You're disgusted because you see through all of their crazy. But the King of Wands will clarify the King of Wands is destiny in reverse. It says the reunion with your twin flame is destined a destined event, which means you guys are not destined to be with this person. Because if I had it all spread out like that, if I had enough room, you would see this person is heading towards you. You have your guards up and stuff like that, but they're heading towards you. 
with this nine of cups when they are trying to dismantle your nine of cups what came out is anticipation it says embrace the sweet anticipation of love arrivals and your life it's coming they're trying to block this this person is trying to block anything that's going to make you happy anything that's going to finalize you because here it's the nine of cups so in theory all you would need is one cup and that will give you the ten of cups but not everybody wants a relationship and these people don't understand that they think that they fight against relationships and like that everybody's not focused on relationships like them but what clarified the devil you're gonna like this what clarified this devil and somebody could be a capricorn here as well somebody could be a leo somebody could be an aries another leo is here somebody could be a gemini and a virgo somebody also could be aquarius energy somebody could be a cancer energy there's gemini and virgo energy here now with the devil energy being that i put you on a little suspense you're probably thinking like what is the devil it's your ex your good old ex it says healing from the past heartbreaks takes time be patient with yourself and remember if you could see it the devil look how he's like creep i'll show you this is how it is looking down on it so this devil is really yeah they trying to tamper with what i said earlier your manifestations your happiness your your free will as well and also individuality came out so it says be wary of possessive partners maintain your individuality aka this devil and this is why some of you guys walked away from them as well because they're very possessive they're very toxic they're very draining some of you thought this person was your twin flame clarify this devil what does devil think about power one's last message or well, this person could have been a twin and then turned into a, a comic left hanging so some of you guys left this person hanging because some of you saw this person trying to try to talk to someone else you actually viewed this you've seen them trying to go after another person you didn't leave you left them with no no closure so this devil feel like you left them hanging you left them with no closure how else does devil feel about this message that power one this last message feeling like shit you left them hanging and they feeling like shit so this is how they feel about your last message they feel trapped too they feel trapped into this bullshit because in the beginning it starts out with the eight of cups and the magician so it's like they manifested this for some of them they manifested this they want to be happily single but you are happily single and this is what they realized look at that and that mistakenly fell out you happily single and you said goodbye and on that note i'm gonna say goodbye to you guys some of them were married or you was married to this person so if you have gotten something from this like and or subscribe look with the magician you see the love spell and married do you see this devil yeah the devil is on it like this though with the love spell and married so i'm gonna go to pal two like and or subscribe till next time in tarot land how to if you pick this deck this is your reading shout out to you guys hope all is well with you and when you see this a hopeful i hope that you are in good spirits and this reading could be useful to you title today is how they felt how they feel about your last message take what apply leave the rest shout out to my subscribers no old and if you're a visitor welcome returning visitors welcome back so i'm gonna get right into it how did this person feel um these cards a lot of these cards came out from power like the same cards from power one um it's a lot of one two three four five six seven there's seven major arcanas in this little reading and there's two four six eight ten cards so this person whatever message you gave this person is really affecting them it's affecting both of y'all both of you will never be the same when it comes to this relationship or how you feel about this person or how they feel about you. Imagine if you love this person, you kind of fell out of love with them. If this person was playing games with you, now they fell in love with you. But let me give you your message from your door and then we'll get into the reading. It says, Anthony's call. In thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things that are lost can be found. So you guys are now finding yourself. You're finding 
yeah, you, you, yeah, you guys, some of you guys who resonate with that, you guys are definitely finding yourself, because the judgment is here, the world is here, the death is here, the high priestess is here, the fool is here, the will of fortune and the chariot is here, so yeah, that message is fitting for this pal, but how did this person feel when you um, gave them this last message with the world and the death card here, somebody here could be a Scorpio, somebody could be an Aries, somebody could be an Aquarius, they could be a Taurus or a Libra as well. But this person feel like you are now basking in what you want to do. You basking in your glory. You being, you being, you letting burdens off your shoulders, basically. You feel like you're free. This is how they feel. That you feel like you're free. You letting them go. You letting this crash and burn. You don't want to have a rebirth here. You leaving this behind. You have closed a karmic cycle out with this person. You are very successful. And they feel... That you are successful. What clarified the world and the death is your inner child needs attention. And it's in reverse. So whoever got this message, it's like, yeah, your inner child needs some attention. You need to start paying attention to your, to your, 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 that little child that's within all of us. Your, your inner child needs some help. You need to work on your. How can I say? I know how to say it. But when I just come out in certain ways, it wound people. I don't want to wound nobody. But some of you guys in this pile is very insecure, very immature, have codependent issues. You have a lot of toxic issues that you need to heal. And it's time for you to heal it now. The, the judgment is here. Judgment is being blown. Now, this person could be a lover of yours. It could be a parent of yours. This could be any relationship. this year thirst for some of you with this high priestess you ghosted this person you decided to ghost them it's like no more talking it's nothing more you can say that can help the situation you have become clear on what you want for your future aka this death and this world card some of you are influencers some of you are seen in the limelight some of you could be stars some of you could be Aquarius, but you ghosted this situation. You know what you want for the future. You clear what you want. Look, and on the back of the card, it says, learn to love yourself more than life itself. So some of you guys really need that message to learn to love yourself. And the message for power one, it kind of like makes sense with this. I'm not going to say it goes with it, but these cards did come out. With the fool here, this person feel like not only did you leave them behind, not only did you just let this go and you clear on your future you saw what was going on all along so some of you seen what was going on with this person with this high priestess some of these people could have held back from you tried to treat you like you was less than because you were somebody that's a star you are somebody that belongs on a pedestal but they tried to knock you off your pedestal some of you had to go into meditation mode or had to get dreams in your and your in your um sleep state to understand this and recognize this with the full energy, they think about your last message that you you literally said, uh, screw them. There's no more waiting for you. No more trying to help you get yourself together. No more for some of you with this high priestess and the judgment here. Some of you are earth angels. Some of you are very like light workers, star seeds. You're very important to the universe and you were brought into these people. Life could be family, whoever, to give them a spiritual awakening, to awaken them, to help them grow. They didn't want to do that, so you said, guess what? I'm going to take action, and I'm leaving you. Time waits for nobody. I'm leaving you. I'm out of here because you don't want to get yourself together, and you knew that time was ticking for you, and you knew that you couldn't bring these people along with you the way they acted. You focused on your intuition. Power One wasn't focusing on their intuition. So over here is the Hangman Energy, the Emperor, and the King of Swords. So this is somebody that has, like, big dick energy. It could be you. It could be them. But whoever have big dick energy, judgment was blown on them. They see you blowing judgment. Look at this. I'll show you how it looks. They see you blowing judgment. You see how this one is looking at the emperor. The emperor is looking at the judgment. The emperor and his king of, king of swords is the same person. So it could be your parent, your 
a boss, a lover, your husband, whoever. You blew judgment. It was time to reveal this. It was time to have a revelation. It was time to expose this. It was time for you to bring it to light. And this is how they felt about your last message, that you're no longer playing with them. If you don't want to have an awakening in a soft, nice, casual way, we're going to give you a rude awakening, a.k.a. the judgment. Some of you guys could be um, a Pisces. Some of you could be an Aries. It says hangman is needed. Some of you guys right now need to look at this. Depending on where you at in this in this uh, relationship, because this, if you want to look at it past, present, and future, this could be like in a in a recent past. This could be in the present. This could be in the future. But yeah, this person see that you're not playing with them no more. Now they kind of feeling wounded. It says shift your perspective in a situation. So somebody needs to shift their perspective. Somebody needs to have awakening. Somebody needs to look at this in a different way. And this is funny how this came out right here. When I was clarifying the four pentacles, because they see that you're holding back on them. You're not investing in this no more. It's no more investment. It's time to be reserved. They see you being reserved and you looking back on them. Some of them are being reserved and being nonchalant and looking at you, even though this is not how they feel internally. So what came out was step in your power. So you see, it's like kind of hold back, resist it. Step in your power. Give this person some space, right? So that came in. And it says trust your gut as well, a.k.a. focus on your intuition is coming out many different ways. So when this card came out, <laughs> it's so hilarious. When the card came out, it flipped like this, right? And I know how I made my card. So I say, let me see what's on this side of the card. It says it's time to think long term, not short term. But the card flipped. So it's like you're not even giving this person another try. With this intuition here, the high priestess and the four of pentacles, you're not giving this another try. You know it's over. It's no more talking about this. The wheel of fortune came out in the chariot. So with the wheel of fortune and the chariot, they feel like you you grabbed the, the reins to this. It's like you call it the dog, I like to say. So if you hear somebody else saying you call, they call it the dog in a reading, it came from me. This person with the chariot and the wheel of fortune, they looking at you close the cycle. Now, it started with the world and it's ending with the wheel of fortune. They see that you are victorious. This person in power one didn't feel victorious with this chariot. You guys are feeling victorious. Somebody could be a Sagittarius or a Gemini or a Virgo here as well. Somebody here could be a Cancer, a Taurus, a Leo, and a Virgo as well with this wheel of fortune. It could be other signs, but in particular, I feel it's that sign. So, yeah, let's start um, clarifying this a couple more times, and then we'll let this go. Whoa, why is this doing that? Clarify the, the, whoa, it just flew over here with the judgment. Bad news. <laughs> they feel your message is bad news. <laughs> why do you feel it's bad news? My guys was like, no need to shuffle. We're going to bring this right out. What's the bad news? Why do you feel it's bad news? It says, sweet talk in reverse, trapped, too late, divine masculine. So whoever this person is, know it's too late. They know they can't sweet talk you, and they know it's over. They took too much time. Some of them were supposed to come back and make it right. They took too much time to come back. This came out in Power 1, trapped. So you could go to Power 1, get some extra me uh, messages, and you're avoiding this person. It's a stalemate. You don't have nothing more to say with them, nothing more to say to them. So yeah, you guys, if you got something from it, like and subscribe, go to Pal 3. Okay, Pal 3, if you picked this stuff, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you, and hopefully this reading is useful to you. The title today is How They Feel About Your Last Message. Take what apply, leave the rest. Shout out to you guys as my subscribers. And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So let's get started with the reading. I have your message for your card. This is your card. Never received this card before, so I'm happy about it. So, if you have a question for this pal or whatever, I don't know. On the back it says yes. So, I just seen it just now because I've never seen this card before. So, it says yes. Kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and fly. So, you are free. If you want to know if you're free, yes. If you want to know if you broke this timeline, yes. Now, if you go back, you're back on a karmic cycle. So, how did they feel about your last message? You have messages in power two for you. 
with the seven of um, cups. This person's name could be Steve or Stevie. This person felt like they was, for one, this person thought they was chasing a fantasy, chasing an illusion. This person could be a Sagittarius individual. But for some reason, this person could have been leaving you behind and chasing somebody else that was breadcrumbing them. They was breadcrumbing you and they tried to, like, chase after somebody that was breadcrumbing them. This person as well, for some of them, they thought that you was an illusion. Like, they... they couldn't get their hands on you, you couldn't, they couldn't get their, like, paws on you, or they couldn't get their, their nails in you, for some of them, how they felt about this last message, they felt, they started to feel like confusion and stuck, confusion and stuck, because you freed yourself, you had the strength to free yourself, you have um, messages in power one too, if you want to go over there, out of all these options that they have, if it's a lover, they freed themselves, if it's a work opportunity, the same thing. You freed yourself. Now, if this is your family, it could be that you had they have family that they put ahead of you. But you freed yourself no matter how it goes. Somebody name could be Steve, Stevie, Oliver, Martha, Molly. Somebody name could be Jack. Somebody name could be Bill or Lenny. And somebody name could be Lee. But this person with the hangman energy is needed, that came out in POW too. So this person feel like literally like they lost because this card is my compass and this compass doesn't have a direction of where it's going it's kind of like it's spinning so it says when you feel stuck look within and that clarified the hangman energy basically it's coincidental how that came out so somebody could be a pisces it says shift your perspective shift your perspective in the situation and it says new things take time so for you who's moving on new things take time so don't rush yourself or whatever but with this stuck energy, this person, it says the weather is changing with us in reverse. They never expected you to free yourself. They never expected it, even though they knew that what they were doing wasn't the ideal thing to do with you. And then the Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups came here. This person feel like you listened to your intuition and dropped these burdens. You realized that this wasn't going nowhere or you realized this situation was burdening you. It says, don't let being alone make you pick the wrong options. Change your mindset. So you did just that. And it's quite fitting how they just clarifying itself the way I'm explaining it. You dropped the burdens. You didn't let this person sit here and play with you. You changed your mindset and you dropped the burdens. And they are very shocked. Some of these people with the towel here and the six of wands and the four of cups, depending on who this person is, they feel like they've fallen from grace. They feel like you no longer see them as this important person, somebody that's winning in life, somebody that needs to be celebrated, somebody that's all pomp and circumstances. And this person, some of them, they ignored you. You wasn't good enough for this person. And they still didn't expect the tower to fall. Somebody could be an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, a Scorpio. Somebody could be Aquarius. Scorpio energy. Leo energy. Somebody's a Gemini or Sagittarius up here. So it says morals and value change. Money is illusion. Don't let it. Um, don't get lost chasing it. So you you change your morals and your vows. Like and subscribe.